Aquila Lane, and it's New Year's Eve at this fabulous synagogue, and we're celebrating a wonderful event tonight. It's a charity gala. It's for Sharat Devora ALS Foundation, and I'm speaking to Jeff Nekinov, who is responsible for participating in putting this event together. He is the DJ, and he invited me on New Year's Eve to come to this wonderful fundraiser. Uh, Jeff, tell my audience about this organization and what it is really all about. Certainly. Um, first of all, I want to give credit to my two co-hosts, uh, Alana Kahan and uh, Shana Hannah Braverman. So now, um, the organization was created one of the local women in the neighborhood, a young mother, she has four children. Um, Shirat De Devora. Right, Shirat Devora. Um, she has four children. She's, I think, just going to be 40 years old. She was diagnosed with ALS, which is Lou, like, Lou Gehrig's yes. disease. And um, the diagnosis, prognosis is horrible for this disease. Um, but I understand that she actually is living longer than I thought she was going to live. Um, I, I spoke to her sisters about oh. it just briefly before you sat down. I'm not familiar with all the medical aspects. I know she was diagnosed about a year ago, right after Sandy. She was also displaced. Her home was ruined. Um, that's another reason why they did this uh, yes. fundraiser, yes. also because of to get her family back on their mm -hmm. feet again. Yes. So um, a bunch of her friends created this organization to get food and raise money and try and help out. And then they asked me, I'm in the entertainment business, I'm well known in the five towns. Um, they asked if w maybe we could do a Saturday night in January. I said, eh, it's rough. And they asked for another place, which was, wasn't as nice. So I said, why don't I try and ask somebody I know and see maybe we could get this place, maybe on, on New Year's Eve. Which is like, a fabulous idea to have a New Year's Eve charity fundraiser. Th it's no one does that. Nobody does that and that's why I'm here tonight because I love doing charity events and I, when I saw this I said oh, I, I have to find out more about this. Thank you, Konya. Um, so I asked a good friend of mine, Yael um, uh, Kahan, who was, uh, also lives in the neighborhood and she's a member of the synagogue and she made some phone calls and I said no problem, it's a comp. The comp to you on New Year's Eve. So um, besides the synagogue here, Beth Shalom, a whole bunch of sponsors on our list. There's like 25 sponsors, all gave everything for free. It's um, wonderful publicity, great. wonderful. Great, so and the only thing we're paying for is um, weight and bartender staff and paper goods. Everything else is 100% donated, so I want to personally thank um, all the sponsors and all the people involved. Again, um, Hana and Alana, very, very, uh, the, for, they, they did most of the work. Um, I'm just here. I'm, I'm a I'm a mover and shaker. So if I have a goal, I put my and you put people together. Put people together. My life and job is about happiness, simcha, and uh, if you want to add some simcha to uh, Devorah's life and her family's life. So I think that's easy. wonderful. And tell my ways, where can we go to learn more about this, where we could support this foundation? Certainly. Um, the web page is um, Shirat S H I R A T dash Devora D E v o r a h dot com and um you could definitely she, she has a blog and you could donate to the foundation there's a link it's dot org okay well i was just told it's probably dot org you could try either one um so go there and you can read about what's going on and um, help and set, lend some support okay and what about you tell my audience what's going on with you now what are you I uh, what's your i know you're a wonderful dj and I'm sure you're doing many events this particular month and yes. throughout the winter. Can you tell my audience anything that's going on with you so far? Certainly. Um, besides doing about 150 local bar and bat mitzvahs in the five towns, Teaneck, New Rochelle area, I mostly service um, the Jewish community here, but I'm also doing the uh, Chamber of Commerce uh, Long Beach on January 30th at the Alegria. So I'm all over I'd the like place. I'd like to go to that one, maybe. Right. Yeah. Thursday nights. Um, but um, that's my business. My business is called the Zomer DJ. That's my mobile business. And my club business, I'm known as DJ Jeff Neck, N-E-C, and Jeff, DJ Jeff Neck .com. So, and I'd love to uh, work for people and, you know, spread the joy and the love and the compassion and help out. So, Happy New Year, and thank you, Cognac, for coming, and thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And we'll be back in a moment, darling, with more interviews right here at the Sherrod Shir Devorah ALS Foundation fundraiser. Keep watching more interviews coming up. Pink Champagne Kisses.
couple of weeks, I have all my friends coming and helping us, and this is what Supreme Leaders of the World. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Konya Aquila Lane, and we're here at this wonderful synagogue for this very, very important cause. It's all about Sharad Devorah ALS Foundation, and I'm here with one of the organizers of the event. She, she worked tirelessly for months to put this whole event together. Introduce yourself to the camera. My name is Hannah Braverman, and I live in Cedarhurst. Now tell my audience why you are so so supportive of this charity. What what drove you to this? What inspired you to become so involved? Um, well, first of all, Zvara is actually a very close friend of mine. Um, there was actually, it's a group of four of us who we, she was the first one to tell us when she got the diagnosis where it, like, it hit us. And then we knew it was pride and then just one day I said, you know, let's do something. Um, I also have a past to ALS. When Zvara told us about the disease, I have an aunt who died from it many years ago. Wow. In 1986. So when she told us the diagnosis, I'll never forget, I was in my car. And I, I just remember the disease, but you know, I was a little girl then. So I'm watching the disease progress more now because was, you know, because I'm with her all the time and I see everything and I said we have to do something for the foundation. Now tell my audience, were you childhood friends with Devorah? No, actually not. Um, our kids are actually in the same class. Uh, my ten and a half year old is in class with one of her kids as well. Um, and then we just became friends actually about two and a half years ago. Um, I got very close to everybody. Um, I broke my foot actually, and I wasn't able to do anything. And all of a sudden, I needed the help. And you know, I would Facebook and say, "Anyone going to Costco?" And actually, once the verse said to me, "I'm going. What do you need?" And we all became as closer as time went on. And we'll do like anything for each other. And as you heard, like Alana, um, Tabora, me, we're like very, very close. Did a wonderful job tonight. I think there's like 300 people here. It's tonight. over 300. Our, over 300. Our numbers were exactly 320 before it started, and then people just paid at the door. So, oh my God! Yeah. An amazing job. Thank an amazing you. job. Tell my audience where can we go to support? Where can we go to contribute? Where can we go to participate? Well, there's. She has her blog on shewritesofarid.org. Um, so you can go over there, and we also have a care calendar set up. So basically, if you go to Shirat Zavora, though, that'll tell you where to go for her website of how to, um, you know, give us more uh, more money. Wonderful. So thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Let's toast. Let's toast for a cure. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment, dog. Some more interviews right here for Shirat Zavora ALS Foundation. Pink champagne kisses and happy New Year. Lane, and I'm here with, at Congregation Shahal, this wonderful synagogue in Lawrence, Long Island. It's New Year's Eve, and it's all about Sharat Devorah ALS Foundation. And I'm here with her two sisters. Introduce yourselves to the camera. Hi, I'm Hindi Ginsberg. I'm Serena Pollack. Now tell my audience uh, about this fundraiser and why you are so devoted to this cause and to your sister. Of course, you know, we're not sure about her outcome, but we're hopeful. Tell my audience more about this uh, organization and this fundraiser tonight. Well, this organization is out there to help um, a lot of people who suffer from ALS. ALS is a terrible, debilitating illness that affects the neuromuscular system. And part of what's so difficult about it is that you remain completely cognitive, but your body start, no longer listens yeah, to your command. mind. There's nothing wrong with your, your mind. mind stays the same. Your mind stays the same, Which but your body no longer listens to what to Which what your mind so has to frustrating say. frustrating when you, you know, if you, if you lose your faculties, your mind, who cares? Think about when you break your leg and you can't move and you're stuck in bed and you, you can't get out of bed and you want to move, but you can't. So this is like your whole body uh, and you're unable to do like the simple functions of life. It's really unbelievable. What we want is for the foundation to have different programs 
negative or different results where the, where the disease is regressing. I mean, since Lou Eric had this disease, has any, right, has anything been accomplished since then? Well, they've, they've made some progress with stem cell research. Okay. And they it actually started with with um, with bone marrow cancer. They realized some of the things that they were accomplishing with bone marrow cancer from the stem cells might be able to help for ALS. Now, tell my audience where we could go to find out more information about how we can support, how we can contribute, and how we can participate. What is the website? What's the website? They're on Facebook. Tell my audience the Facebook. Tell my audience the Facebook page. Shira ALS Foundation. Shira Devora ALS Foundation. You can go to rootfunding.com, and rootfunding.com has a a cause page for Shira Devora, and um, there's also a blog. My sister Devora writes a blog. Shira-Devora.com. Thank you so much for talking. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment, guys. More interviews right here at Congregation Shalom in Lawrence, Long Island, for the Sharat Devora ALS Foundation. Happy New Year. Please champagne kisses. Been a crybaby productions, darlings.